Hello, everyone. Today's lecture is about the actual Brayton cycle. Please read the chapter 9.8 to 9.10 for the better understanding of today's lecture. Particularly for today, I'm going to talk about what is the realistic uh, you know, features of the uh, gas turbine inside, and also how can we improve the performance of the gas turbine, including the improvement of the thermal efficiency and the improvement of power output. At the end of today's class, I really hope that you can answer those three questions. The first question is about, can you really consider the isentropic efficiencies in the Brayton cycle? And second question is, what is the benefit of uh, regeneration? Can you calculate the thermal efficiency when you use a regeneration scheme? The third uh, question is about how we can add into cooling and reheating to improve the power output of gas turbine. So before we go further about uh, the realistic operating cycle analysis, now let's try to review uh, about what we learned uh, in the last lecture. So in the last lecture, we learned about the ideal breaking cycle analysis. What you have to really uh, remember is that now, when in order to do the ideal breaking cycle analysis or in general gas turbine analysis, we have to assume that each component is an open system. Okay? And now we um, try to draw the TS diagram, which goes through the from one to two isentropic compression process and comp constant pressure heat addition process and isentropic expansion process in the turbine, and fault one is the constant pressure heat rejection process. So these are four base processes of the ideal Brayton cycle. Now from two to three, we have heat input to the cycle, and from fault to one, we have heat rejection uh, out of the gas turbine. Okay. We also can calculate the, uh, the compression work, and expansion work by doing the first law uh, analysis of thermodynamics uh, for an open system when we consider that as the steady state condition. We also draw the PV diagram, but I'm not going to talk a lot about this PV diagram. What matters more in the ideal breaking cycle analysis is more about the TS diagram. Now we also learned the graphical representation of network in the in the ideal breaking cycle which is basically the area surrounded by four processes. So that is your network. Then how did you learn about uh, the, the calculating uh, the network? So the network can be calculated by either knowing the amount of heat input and amount of heat rejection, or by knowing the expansion work at the turbine or WT minus WC, right? Many times we use, uh, you know, the amount of energy per unit mass, okay? But by multiplying m dot to each ton, then we can also calculate the net power, okay, which is can be written as this. So in the case, the unit is kilowatt. Or you, also we can calculate in terms of a kilojoule if you want. Okay, so that is the first thing that we learned about the performance analysis. And second thing that we uh, learned uh, about is the thermal efficiency, okay? which is written as this equation. Okay. So by calculating the net amount of work and uh, the amount of heat input to the cycle, we can calculate the thermal efficiency. And also, we all learned the very unique uh, the parameter of the gas turbine, which is backward ratio. Okay. So that is defined as uh, WC over WT. So that is a compression work divided by turbine work. So the backward ratio means how much uh, work is being used by the uh, compressor you know, from the power that is generated by the turbine. Okay, so that is how, uh, what we learned. And now we, by looking at the thermal efficiency equation for a very ideal case, meaning that if your working fluid is an ideal gas with constant specific heat, then we clearly saw that the 
the key design parameter of the gas turbine or ideal braking cycle is pressure ratio that is defined as P2 over P1. So many times in order to design a good gas turbine, we have to focus on what would be the, the, the optimized the pressure ratio in terms of efficiency and in terms of power output. And that is what we learned in the last lecture.